Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. So right now we're taking a look at the NBA season but before I do I want to invite you to join become a VIP club member and if you do you will have access to all of this, uh, these great tools to help you make your picks even better. And also I want you to take a look at the top uh, performing automated systems here for 2020. It's very easy to use. You can simply go down through here and select your sport. And you can uh, select profit time, profit method, and you can see the positions here, the rankings one, two, three, etc., and the different things you can look at. Most important for most of us is profit here at the end, profit. And then there's a trust factor percentage, average deviation, or ROI. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do and look at. And you can see that there's graphs for each one showing all the, uh, the profits and the trends. So take a look at that when you have time, it will help you with your picks. So now we're going to take a look at some of the games here for January the 10th here in the NBA schedule as we're approaching the halfway point of the season. We're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of these games. First one on the list we want to take a look at is the Indiana Pacers and the Chicago Bulls. In this Central Division matchup, the second place Pacers take on the third place Bulls. Indiana took the first two games between the two teams. If you look here at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that they won both at home by seven points, and the first game they won by 18 points. If you look at the power rankings indicator, Indiana is at plus 17, Chicago is at plus seven. If you take a look at the total predictor, if you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see Indiana with the red line is trending games over the blue line right there and if you look at chicago they are playing in games trending over the line as well so betting the over is a safe play in this game right now you can see the status here ice cold up for indiana they have one just two out of their last six chicago dead at the moment they have lost their last four and five out of their last six if you want to see how consistent the two teams are as far as performing according to the um Favorite underdog stats, take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see both teams on kind of an upward trend. Well, a little bit down here for Indiana, but they are at plus uh, 12 as far as the Bulls are there, also at plus 12. So they're both performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status. I expect a high scoring game here. Chicago hasn't had the answer for Indiana yet this season, and I expect that to continue in this one. Let's take the Pacers on the road. And we scroll down through here to some more matchups. You can see it's a full slate of games, but we're going to take a look at five of them here in this video. We're going to take a look at the Orlando Magic and the Phoenix Suns. At second in the Southeast Division, the Magic have a 5-12 record on the road, which is really bad, actually, considering they are second in their division. And Phoenix is third in the Pacific Division, but they are just 7-13 and 13 at home. Orlando is average at the moment. You can see out of their last six, they have won three and lost three. Phoenix is average down at the moment. You can see they are also three and three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams are at plus 15. Just a few days ago, you could see that uh, Phoenix was down here at plus eight. Orlando is up at plus 19. You can see the different trends. They are now both at plus 15. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see Orlando is now trending well under the line. Phoenix is trending over the line. So in, in that kind of scenario, it's best to avoid the over and, and under in that situation. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams. In the first game uh, this season, Orlando won on at home. Actually, they won at home by a 14-point margin as an underdog. And let's take a look at how consistent the two teams are. You can see Orlando is uh, playing much more consistent according to their favorite underdog status compared to uh, Phoenix. And I expect that to continue. Because in this one here, being that they're on the road, they will most likely be an underdog. And they will probably lose this game. So let's edge the bet towards Phoenix to take this one at home. Los Angeles Lakers and the Dallas Mavericks. This is the game of the day because both teams are near the top of their division. In fact, the Lakers are the top 
record in the Pacific Division. And the Mavericks are second in the Southwest Division. Los Angeles is 15 and 3 on the road. You see they're burning hot at the moment. They have won five out of their last six, five in a row. Dallas is average at the moment. They are three and three over their last six. You look at the power ranking indicator, you see the Lakers are at plus 28. Dallas is at plus 19. Head to head, well, the Lakers won the first, or actually the last game between the two teams by 13 points. And you can see Dallas won the first, or the previous game before that by 14. And the first game between the teams this season, the Lakers won by nine in overtime. So the Lakers have a two to one advantage so far in the games this season between the two teams. You look at the totals predictor to consider the over under. The Lakers are playing in games trending well under the line. Dallas is trending under the line as well. It's just a perfect opportunity to bet the under. How stable are the two teams? Well, let's take a look here. The volatility oscillator. The Lakers are much more stable at plus 22. The Mavericks are at plus 6. That means they're performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So because of that and because of quite a few other things, uh, the Lakers are the best team out west right now. I think the Lakers will take this one. Stay hot and win this one on the road. The Bucks and the Kings. The Bucks enter with the top record in the NBA and are 14 and 4 on the road. The Kings are fourth in the Pacific Division and they are just 8 and 10 at home. You see right now the Bucks are burning hot down. They have won five out of their last six, although they are coming off a 22 point loss to San Antonio. The Kings are ice cold up. They have won two out of their last six. You look at the power ranking indicator, not a surprise here. Milwaukee all the way up here at the top at plus 29. Sacramento down here near the bottom at plus 3. Considering the over and under, let's take a look. Milwaukee playing in games trending under the line. Sacramento playing in games trending over the line. So again, in that kind of scenario, I generally suggest not betting the over and under. You look at the stability so far. The Bucks are the much more stable team at plus 25 compared to plus five for the Kings. There's really very little to indicate that the Kings can uh, stay with the Bucks in this one. I don't think they'll pull off an upset or really come close to it. So the Bucks should win and win this one rather easily. We're gonna take a look at one more game here. The Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Warriors are dead status at the moment, losing five out of their last six. They have the worst record in the Western Conference and are only three and 13 on the road. The Clippers are average up, winners of four out of their last six, coming off a three-point win against the Knicks. You look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams this season, you can see that the Clippers won the first meeting on the road by a 19-point margin, so it was an easy win for them on the road. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. There will be no surprise here. Clippers, again, with a huge advantage, plus 22 to plus 1. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see that Golden State is playing in games trending well under the line. Clippers playing in games trending over the line. You will either you probably want to not bet the over under because they're trending on opposite sides of the line. But if you do, you might want to take a bet on the over because the Clippers are trending four points over compared to only two points under for Golden State. As far as the outcome of the game, Again, there's, there's very little to indicate that the Warriors, who have fallen from one of the best teams in the league down to the bottom, that they have any chance of really beating the Warriors. So take the Clippers in this one, and they should win in blowout fashion. So there you have it for the games for this week. Uh, happy betting. Hope you enjoy. Remember to join if you have not, so you can take advantage of all these wonderful tools. And we will see you next week for some more great picks to help you win big every single time.